so it's around six o'clock in the morning and what you see right now are tourists being taken by a banca fishermen are rowing down the ocean and as you can see they're all in a circle and there's more sailing to the shore uh, to the sea and they're all snorkeling to see the whale shark beautiful black whale shark it's a lot of people and of course the sunrise greets us and that's a beautiful sight so good morning everybody um, yeah the tourists are getting ready to see the whale shark they're all snorkeling and what happens is the fishermen they have food on a boat and they feed the sharks so that they can come closer and be viewed by tourists um, you know I have mixed feelings around that you know there's a question of is it is it right to do it or is it wrong to do this and you know I think the there, there's two benefits to it and one really wrong thing and one is that the sharks are um, being fed they freely roam around the sea um, they're kind of scheduled right um, they know their feeding schedule and you know they come to shore and they're viewed by tourists uh, two we get to see these beautiful creatures and what they look like right um, those are two benefits to it but I think where it goes wrong is that when tourists don't follow um, protocols and want to get so close to these sharks just to capture a photograph um, it's really a violation and you know there's no ethic in that right they're not following the rules and I think that's the only I feel um, and believe that that's the only thing that can go wrong in this situation is tourists not following the rules right so um, I've read a whole lot of thing about tourists wanting to touch them and all of these things and you know what you can't do that right we want to take a look at that hey you know what we're already seeing these animals why don't we respect um, rules and most importantly respect the animals right um, the sea animals and so um, that's the only thing I feel that's wrong with it and you know anyway the, look at them all go they're, they're all snorkeling and if you ask me that's a ton of people too much movement too much energy under the water and originally I wanted to um, snorkel but I'm not going to instead I have a I decided to get a private guide so I'm gonna get in the water after all of them are done they should be out there for a half an hour and I've got their master diver here who's gonna take me under the sea and we're gonna explore together uh, with another fisherman above feeding the, these whales there's four of them down there so you know I'm, I'm looking forward to encountering um, having that intimate encounter and it's just me and the fisherman I mean the diver I found out no one else wants to dive everybody comes here to snorkel and um, I'm just looking forward to seeing these beautiful things and um, yeah so that's what's going on right now that's where I'm at and Hopefully that one day all of you can come to the Philippines and Cebu because Cebu is the only one that has these beautiful creatures and Philippines is surrounded by water. It's the main island and you know we have we're you know leading top number one coral reefs in the world. That's why divers all come here to experience the beauty under the sea and um, yeah so that's it. That's where I'm at and 
That's a whole lot of people. And so if you want an intimate encounter, get you a guide privately and have him take you down there. So I'm looking forward to showing you all some clips. Hopefully my pro, my GoPro doesn't freeze down there. And if it does, then it does, right? Yeah, that's pretty much it. It's beautiful in the Philippine Islands. I'm, I'm humbled. I'm grateful and I'm never leaving my land. This is where I belong. I'm rooted in, in, in the grass in which I grew in, so it's nice to continue to learn. God is good all the time.